Yo, 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 see Wiz, uh, we are back, we are back, continuing on right from where we left off, and um, I wish there was a way of seeing how many stages are left, so I would know like how much more the game is left, but uh, I suppose we could Trophies might tell us a little clue. You fought your way through Hal and found the Titan's core, a portal that gets you one step closer to the Crucible and defeating the forces of Hal for good. You must crush the Crucible Guardians and retrieve what is. Step closer to the Crucible. So we're still not at the Crucible then, so that means that. There's probably this level and then another level then, if that's the case. Should we have a look at the trophies? I don't know if it's going to show anything. No, I don't want to be... I think it should... Let's have a look if we can gauge sort of what's left. Hmm. So these are all multiplayer. This is all multiplayer. These are arcade mode. Not not trial arcade mode. Yeah, it could be interesting. Right. Use the taunt from expansion two. Multiplayer, multiplayer. I'm glad that they separated the multiplayer from the single player, though. I hate it when games mix the multiplayer, and this, especially when it's a sing, primarily a single player game. You know, and they've added multiplayer in as well, but it's not. You know, Essentially, you wouldn't class this as being a pure multiplayer game, would you? It's a single player game with multiplayer. And um, yeah, I hate it when they put the trophies that it forces you to do multiplayer in order to get like a platinum or whatever. When it's essentially a single player game, like if it's a single player game, please devs, don't don't put multiplayer achievements in with the the normal achievements. Do what this game's done, separate them. So you can still get the, you know, you can still get the, the platinum without having to do multiplayer. Because obviously with a single player game, a lot of people will only want to play it single player. And um, people would like to get the, the platinums. Then being forced into something. I mean, they might think it's clever to do that, to force people into doing it to get the trophy. But in my experience, people were just going to say, Alright, we're not getting a trophy on it. It's never ever forced me to do it. But it's just annoying because then I'm like, well, I can't get the fucking platinum now. Know what I mean? So yeah, just just um just expressing how I'm glad that they separated it. Complete the snapback basic. All right, I take it back. I take I take everything I just said back because they have got multiplayer in with the normal trip. And that is super annoying. Super stupid. Really upgrade all Praetor suit categories. We're one away from doing that. But I don't know if we've missed one previous. We're definitely not getting all collectibles. All runes, uh, we're two away. I don't think we're going to get that either. Definitely not getting data logs. Weapon mods, I think we're too many away to do that. Definitely not getting that. Yeah, so...
Beat the UAC on Ultra Nightmare. I think I don't think there like it's no extra level is what it's saying that we need to do. If you look, you know you got defeat the defeat Cyber Demon, How Guards Master. So we've done all of it. Warp to How. Yeah, just this one, a toe in madness, but that's ultra nightmare. I think we're right at the end of the game. I thought I said we wasn't in the crucible. We are in the crucible. get this upgraded we need some little minions that's what we need blue door yellow door Amanu mission. Anamu mission. And um and um and um and um Choose the red pill, choose the green pill, choose the red pill, choose the yellow pill, choose the black pill. Oh, we can't. There's only one way to go then. Oh, this is unlimited ammo, isn't it? Keep seeing these. I wonder if you can um, blow them up. I like the cocking action on that gun. That looks cool. Look. See the way the the back of the gun's recoiling. That's pretty cool. That's snapping out of the barrel at the back. Look. Nice. Nice little touch, nice little animation. That's what we want. There we go. Get some health with him. No way that went a headshot. Fucking. No. Uh, we got caught with our pants down then. What's this? Ah, oh, I think we are going to get all the upgrades for our suit. Just got myself killed trying to get one more bloody, one more headshot kill with a pistol. Do the, do the kills we previously got carry over? They do. That's not so bad then. Oh wait, uh, did how many did we have? 
I'm not actually sure if they did or not. One more. Let's not worry about getting it now because This game is a lot about picking the right weapons for the job a lot of the times. One more. Now we've got extra damage on it. Wonder how much extra damage. Ah, I didn't get to listen to it because I picked it up in battle. Ah, and we didn't get this either. I think this should give us a trophy. I think that's going to be all of them. Yeah, look. I think I've gotten turned off notifications for trophies. I'm actually going to turn that back on after this. I don't mind the trophies popping up. I don't know why I turn it off. I think I just turned off all notifications because I was like annoyed with it one time with like um, group chat and shit showing up when people were opening group people on my friends lists opening group chats and shit I just turned notifications off but I wouldn't mind turning the trophy one back on actually I don't mind seeing people's notifications just it was annoying while I was trying to record videos and stream and stuff. Otherwise, if I went streaming or recording, I wouldn't, you know, I'd leave it all on. It's just, uh, we hide here long enough, you never know. The game might be lenient on us and just, you know, complete for us. Then again, computer says no. Computer says no. Computer says no. Oh, we've already actually we've already been in there from a different Yeah, up and around. Sometimes it looks like you're getting damage done to you with that siphon grenade. I keep using it and then looking around like, shit, am I taking damage from behind? But yeah, 
it's the uh, Grenadier. Alright, we don't need the Pistola equipped anymore. Why did it... Why did my weapons default back? Is it... Why did my weapons default back? I was wondering if doing that quick glitched it out. And hmm. That's clearly not the weapons I was using and I never switched it. That's weird. It just literally switched my weapons back to like default weapons. Weird. Too much ammo on little crappy minions. As uh, an upgrade, I think that's haste, faster movement speed. Obviously, when I pick the skull up, all hell's gonna break loose. Ah, oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, as soon as I do this, it's going to go haywire. I should imagine. Great bit of grenade throw in there. He's invisible, you son of a bitch. Nowhere, ran out right. How many times is that gonna happen to me? Something special. I think it's the old, you know, like the old Doom. We've done it before. It's like you go to the old Doom, the first Doom. It's like a secret area. I unlocked it, but I don't know where. I don't know where I unlocked it. Here. Where is 
That doom door we open. Ah, it's, it's over here. It's at the end. I can already tell. Shoot. Rocket launcher and... Done. We've only got 56. Actually. Ah, it's just use shotgun. Ah, uh, is that it? Fuck. Didn't know I was gonna do that, or oh, obviously I wouldn't have, you know. I wouldn't have meleeed the barrel if I knew the barrel was gonna explode. Is that it? Like. What was the two skulls we collected? I don't know what they represented. I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Well, that was usually it's like a little one. Um, you know, you got some enemies to kill and stuff. This one's a little bit. A little bit disappointing. It's all good. Let's get out of here. We lost. I don't know how much health we lost when we hit them. Hit them barrels. But now we've got zero health and just all armor. I think... I think a lot of it is because of that thing we've got. Where we kill when we get armor back. That rune is really, really helpful. It's literally keeping me alive with armor rather than health. Very nice. Oh yes, that's what we was doing. So we need the blue one still. And we'll probably get the blue one from the yellow one. Maybe. Maybe. What did that do? What did that do? That's a nice little combo, one of each. Seems pretty strong. Yeah, I like it. That's a good little combo, that is.
Oh, it's a double damage thing. I always fucking do that. Now we're cooking. It's not even double damage, it's, qu it's quadruple damage. Crazy damage. Four times. Four times damage. That is pretty crazy, four times damage. So much better when you just run through the map like the way Doom's supposed to be played. That I totally ruined the first half of this game by messing about trying to find all the collectibles, constantly going into the map, trying to make sense of it. Like, if you've not played this game before and you've like what somehow come across this video and you're watching it, um, yeah, don't try. Like, unless you really, really want to try and 100% the game. But believe me, it will make the game a lot slower and you will get frustrated with the map. My advice, don't bother looking at the map. Just look at your compass at the top. It will tell you where the next point to go is. Just go through the game like that. So much more better. So much more better. Wish I did that from the start. But by all means, if you're a completionist, knock yourself out, go for it. You'd, prob you'd probably be better off watching a bloody YouTube video though, to be honest with you. How many shots do these things take, man? They're not they're not normal ones. I know I noticed just as I was killing that other one they got red eyes. I don't know if the other ones have got red eyes, but they are definitely stronger than the normal ones. How many shots did I shoot that that one with until I killed it? That was a lot. That was like four rocket launch shots with the mod. That was like three each times four. That was like 12 rockets. And then a couple of gore shots and, an, and a siphon grenade. Stupid shot. Yeah, if we had multi-targeting, it would help. Summoners, though. You don't see the summoners that much. And, like, when I do see one, I'm not thinking in my head, Oh, shit, got to get a rocket launcher out. I always forget about it. It would be nice to have that upgrade. I don't think we're going to do it in time now by the time the game is over anyway, so it's pointless worrying about it. But that would have helped to have multi-target lock-on. I actually think as well using chain gun would be better in this scenario.
Where did they even come from? Dumbasses, man. They're way too strong. Still one of them alive, where is he? Oh, they were dead. I swear there was one still alive. One of the flying ones. Maybe not. But that's how we that's how we got out at the beginning, I think. It's released from the tomb. died then. Thought, he thought I killed him and I'm like shit he's not dead. So can I don't think we can oh we can we do something? Yeah, let's do it. And this is this is where we messed up. We shouldn't have spent any of these points on any of this. 
like trying to 100 percent it the reason i bought these was obviously yeah so we could see where the consumables and secrets were and stuff i wish i kept them points and just put it into making myself stronger we could have had the dexterities done But never mind. We kind of made the game harder. We, well, we definitely made the game harder for ourselves by trying to find all the secrets. Not just by how long it took us and looking at the map, but because we wasted points on something which didn't make us any stronger at all. I mean, I suppose it, you could say it makes, makes you maybe stronger if you find in like upgrade stuff. Like, um, Argent stuff and, um, drone upgrades for your weapons. But I think you find most of them along, like, just going through the map normally. Not sure how many of them I wouldn't have found. See what I mean? Like, most of them are just, they're pretty much there in plain sight. You might see it, might be locked behind a wall, but then you know, you know, you got to work a way to get round to it. That's usually how a lot of these main upgrades have been. I tell you what, we're only one away from having all of the drones. I bet we missed one further, like. Previously, I bet we missed one, so we won't be able to get the trophy. I'd be surprised. Detonate any rocket in flight. What is the benefit of that, though? Like, better just to have the rocket just hitting them and exploding. And then I don't really want this because it's using my. My um gauze cannon ammo. I think I would rather take the stun over remote remote detonation though. Can we upgrade the BFG? That would be crazy if we could. chain gun ammo okay must not the See, the multi-target um, lock-on would be nice in situations like that. Way too many shots then. 
It's weird because this game is like very floaty when you move. And obviously as, as a controller player you know that a lot of the times in shooting games you use your strafe. You know, you'll be a little bit off. Um, and rather than moving your your aiming stick to aim it, you just strafe for it, you know, to do the little touch-ups. But because it's so, this game's so fast and so floaty, the strafe actually is, um, yeah, it's a bit harder than usually any other first-person shooter. It's not, yeah, it's just different, shall we say. You know, it's that old Quake sort of... Well, it's Doom. I, I don't know. I think Doom was before Quake, so you can't really compare it to Quake. Like, if anything, Quake should be compared to Doom. I'm actually curious which came first. Doom or Quake? I thought it was Doom. Ah, oh, Quake was after, but it was the same developer. I didn't know it was the same developer, but that explains why it's the same movement. Yeah, Doom. Doom's like the the old school daddy of shooters. I remember when the, the original Doom come out. I'm sure, my age now. They were in like Amstrad CPC 464 days. You probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But yeah, that's what I used to be playing on back in the day. My Amstrad. Some people had Commodores. Amigas, you know. I think the Commodore was the closest comparison to the A Amstrad what I had. I think the Amstrad was slightly better. But I think more people had the Commodore. I should have used my BFG, I was, I was debating pulling it out. Trying to keep it. Trying to keep it for like, end boss or something. No, I doubt we're going to find any more BFG ammo now. Yeah, the problem is the ch we ain't got no chain gun ammo. That's why we're struggling. Gores, the gores chain gun combo, or the gores. I mean, the gores rocket combo is alright, but the problem with that is the amount of time between each um, mod shot and the rocket launch is really long. That's the problem with it. Are they fighting each other? I should let them fight each other, shouldn't I? They're shooting that one in the air, look. Yeah, they're all fighting each other.
Every time. Every time it runs out just as I get to him. Oh, what's that? A BFG shot? We should have fired it right at the beginning. Be a waste now unless I can herd them all together. Oh, yeah, this might be worth it. Same with the explosive shotgun, the mod shot takes takes really long in between. Should have used to be OG when it was all down here together. Saying that killing them, killing the the ones what down here to, together wasn't that. Yeah. I don't suppose it really matters. We got it done either way. They've got three shots. Pure delay on that. Oh, here we go. That was pretty lucky. There was two behind me, and as I was strafing, walking backwards, they ran like past me. <laughs> pretty lucky. Annoying bloody things. They're bad enough when they're not invisible, but even worse when they're invisible. Uh, 
ready for the next upgrade. We only got two. Six weapon points. We might as well do this then, in case we ever use the other shotty. I keep saying I'm gonna try it, and I, I keep not uh, not trying it. That's what it is. It keeps on changing my guns because I'm running out of ammo. I don't like the way it changes them though. We need to maybe change that. Oh, for fuck's sake, wrong button. Wrong button. That was just about to run out. Alright, uh, let's not go down there yet. Actually, let's use the gauze rifle. Let's try the super shotgun. Oh, we can't go down there. I thought we could go down there. Probably can if we jump. I think. A ledge there. I hope that's saved after we killed all that shit. We're dead, luckily. I still I still think there's a way of getting over there. Maybe it's just a run and jump job. the chain see so if we can do it do it away from the chain can you get on the chain you can get on the chain alright so it's easy to fall off though but that's probably how you do it. Go along the chain. Doesn't matter if we keep trying because we're not losing anything by by re attempting. Probably not even worth it. Probably nothing even here. Oh, it's back to that. It's back to the original zone. Oh, man. Definitely not worth it. Yeah, we've already been here. We 
might have fucked ourselves. Might have to load the last checkpoint. Might have to load the last checkpoint. Because we locked ourselves out. Boss time. Alright. Well, I don't know his moves, so that's going to take him a bit of work now. got a airy blast on it all right so that's the move that I've got to work out how to avoid more than anything this the little staff blast what he does There. Alright, so he does like a portal charge first. Before he fires. See that he's gonna do it. He does like a little portal charge in front of him. Okay. Does a lot of damage. Not very complicated on his move set at the moment, but he does a lot of damage. There you go, I dodged it. No way, that should have hit him. Wait, that didn't get him either. Trying to get him with headshots, so I should just shoot him anyway, I think. Just get the damage. I did good damage. I think hitting him in the back might do more damage, actually. Seems like it. But, yeah, because he ain't got armor in his back. Yeah, I, th I think he does do more damage in his back. That was pretty lenient giving me that.
Oh, I ain't seen this. Probably dead now. So we've taken little bits of splash damage. Even though I didn't think we was, because all of a sudden I looked at my health and it's like we'd lost quite a bit. So I'm not sure where we was losing that. I think when he's jumping towards us and we're jumping away, we're still taking damage. If we can work out how to not do that. Might be a good idea to switch grenades as well. So that we're just doing damage grenades. But. Nah, it's better with the siphon ones, because... Yeah, see, we still take damage on that. We need to be further away from him. Problem is, it's harder to get a shot on him when when you get further away from him. Yeah, see, jumping further away from him. Missing a lot of shots. I'm kind of just trying to suss out the um, the range on how to not get hit. I don't think we got hit then. Yeah, you just ain't got a lot of time to turn around and shoot when you jump that far away from him. Oh, it's lucky I got away with that. That's how you gotta do it. Put your siphon grenade where you're standing, jump away from him. He jumps into the spot of it. That way even if you take a bit of splash damage, you're getting your, your health back. Yeah, that's the way to do it. We took a bit of damage there, but I don't think it was that bad. It hit me and it stunned me. I literally couldn't move.
He just does so much damage. He's not actually that hard. Well, he is, or I wouldn't be dying. But the, the difficulty, it's not from the mechanics. It's from how much, how, um, how much damage he does. Make him do a different move if we stay close to him. It's actually easier to Bait him to do the other move if you get close to him. I don't know how we do it to avoid that one. Could be dead here. Okay, two phase. Oh, my God. Now that is not funny.
These ones ain't got shields though. They got shared health or do, can you kill one? It looks like there's just one health pool. Wow. I hope you don't have to do through that first phase again. We might be stuck here for a while. Uh, at least they didn't do that. That would have just been annoying, to be honest, had they had done that. They move too quick. I pulled the big gun out then, but it didn't let me shoot it. I don't know why I switched my weapon to the shotgun. See, that's what happens when you run out of ammo. It just automatically switches to another, another, another gun. The problem with a chain gun is just so... Yeah, can't really use the chain gun. Too planted. Maybe if we use the other mod. But even then, you've got to spin it up. I think Gore's rifle's the way to go. What are you supposed to do against that big blast? I don't know what you're supposed to do against that big, that big yellow ball what he fires, because it's just so big. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to dodge it? Again, with a stupid weapon select as well. It's messing me up. Try this gun out. Yeah, that, that blast is absolutely ridiculous, by the way. Way too big, way too quick. What are you supposed to do against it? Like what are you supposed to do against that? Alright, so if you, you're better off not jumping by the looks of it. I might regret being on hard mode <coughs> for this fucking fight. The weapon selects what annoys me so much about this game though, it's just so annoying. Because the game's so fast paced that having to pull up this stupid wheel is... Every time man, this is so fucking annoying. Right. I think the gauze rifle is literally the only vi viable weapon used in this fight. Yeah. 
And yet every time it starts me off with that stupid shotgun, which is no good in this fight. And then we've got to go into the crappy wheel to change it. So shit. Oh, you can shoot him out of it. All right. Well, that's what you do. You shoot him out of it. There you go. I can actually shoot the ball. So bullshit. There was nowhere I tried making it over to him, but he he, he was knocked out of his glory kill state so quick I couldn't make it over to him. Now what, punk? Now what you're gonna do, bitch? My crucible. Two points. Going on. Seven weapon points. I think we can really put it on. Kill multiple demons with super shotgun blast. With a super. Super shotgun blast.
Just kill 30 people with... What is... Man, that's really easy to complete. Giving a nod. Give the nod back. Alright, so... Let me guess, we're going to save the world and then we're going to be locked up and yeah, basically left locked up for the rest of our lives again as as um, payment. Seems about, yeah, seems about fair. Why is the Demon Slayer locked up though? Does he just want to kill everything, even good? I don't know, I kind of... You know, I kind of not follow the story that... <laughs> that well, to be honest. It's a shoot... It's a... It's a... First person shooter, isn't it? Story's not really that... That important. You play it to shoot shit. Jump on, shoot shit. You reclaim the crucible and returning to Mars, you must close the WoW, the power source of the HAL portal on Mars. To do this, you will have to make one last HAL jump. Samuel has planned to send you back to the WoW's location. He will need your assistance to carry it out. Alright, shall I end this? Let's end this part then. And, um, I don't know. Let's not end it because I don't know if this is just a cutscene or something. Or if this is an actual level. With it, the means to contain the power of the well. We have a plan to send you there. Vega will walk you through the process. This is even if this is a longer part, it's the final part. We'll just keep it running because I have no idea how long it's gonna be. I don't want to start it and then it'd be like 15, 20 minutes. On the next, on the next part, it'd be stupid. It'd be stupid. This is my primary operating facility. It is where I was created, and where my core processing unit is maintained. It takes approximately 2.4 terawatts of power to sustain my operational capabilities, but it has been decided that we can use that power to send you to the source of the portal. I will not survive the procedure and am unable to self-terminate, so I will walk you through the process. All interior and exterior facility doors have been secured. You will need to begin by finding a way in and disabling the security systems. Let me sit forward a bit so my back isn't touching the the back of the couch. Because it is uh, getting very sweaty. It's a little video still. Yeah, let's try and sit forward a little. Okay.
Voll Glory Chaos, voll Demons. Really, Gods. Um, it does look like this is gonna be a long part. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'll just, I'll just let it run. Like I said, final part. It'll be alright. It'll just be a bit longer. I think the Gore's rifle is the best weapon in the game. In my opinion. Go that way. Go this. So it looks like that bottom way is the official way. Just as I thought. Thought that's what it was gonna be. This is like the secret route. That's the official route. BFG shot. Let's not use pistol, let's not use. Yeah, look, this is the other, yeah, thing. Killed both. My security systems operate on two separate neural networks that terminate in this maintenance facility. Each termination point is protected by an electrified field, but you should survive the surge. Have a BFG. Uh, upgrade in the middle there. We're obviously, gonna get jumped in this. Um, afford to fire a BFG. Two BFG. Alright, so we're definitely getting jumped. Big time. What does the green one do? Maybe invincibility. Remember, purple one's quad damage, yellow one's haste. I think green is invincibility. Only 
enemies because Get that up in the air. Didn't fire off a BFG. Ah. Same switch in it, or was it on the other side? Primary neural security network offline. My vital operating systems are now vulnerable. I recommend destroying my coolant system first. This will accelerate the destabilization process. Still got another BFG shot down the bottom. We could fire another one as well and still stay at free. As long as we've got access to this room, we can pick it up again. Can't pick up more than we do. Might lock us out. Should you find yourself caught in the level three demon contamination, it is important that you remain calm. A tier three fellow wouldn't panic, and neither should you. I don't think we're going to be able to come back for that BFG shot. Things going to lock us out. Actually, we should um. I don't think we'll get 30 kills, but you never know. That didn't count though. What does it mean by a super shot? No multiple demons with a super shot, man. I mean, when I'm aimed in, then. That's the only difference. I should you find yourself caught in a level of demon contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. A team three fellow will panic, and neither should you. 
That one works. I think the super shotgun is powerful. Pretty strong. See that was that was ADS, then it didn't count as a super shot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what a super shotgun shot is. Cause literally got no mod equipped to it. Yeah, no mod. There's We've killed 58 people with it, Dad. But then again, we didn't have the mastery unlocked. Kill multiple... D oh. I get it. It's got to be more than one with... It's multiple in one shot. So like two or three in one shot. Ah, oh, fuck. It's not as easy as I thought, then. Blue security. Blue security clearance required. Blue security clearance. Son of a bitch. Should you find yourself caught in the level three demon contamination event? Ah, nice. And neither should you. Nice, nice, nice. Unlike everything else in your life, but all coke. your work here matters. I look swell out of place. I wonder if that's like an easter egg. Little bottle of coke. That's oh, chainsaw. Should you find yourself caught in the level 3 demon contamination event, it is important that you remain calm. A yeah, I think panic, and neither should you. I think you are better with a normal shotgun rather than a super shotgun. I don't know what it's like when you can fire oh, two shots. Your life, your Shut up, next. man. Might be alright when you can fire two shots, but. I hate when there's NPCs and they just keep repeating the same things over and over and over. Anyone... Should you find yourself caught I'm sure people will agree. Anyone that's played Elden Ring and Fort Millennia. I bet you had fun with that one. That repeating line. 
I'm Melania. No, 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 whatever. Oh my god, that was so annoying. Elevator. We definitely could have been taking more BFG, BFG shots. But it's all good. Doesn't matter how we make it through, as long as we make it through. Don't know what to start playing next. I am in the middle of playing Monster Hunter and Death's Door. But I need to finish that. Probably try and go to Death's Door. To contain this heat, a massive supercooled structure was built to house Vegas' After mild this. circuitry and millions of processing centers. We're in the middle of Monster Hunter, but that can be like an ongoing game. That, that I mean, that's, that's a long thing anyway. So we can just keep that on the go for a while. Get Death's Door out of the way and then, um, yeah, I don't know. We got Death Loop, Immortal Phoenix Rising. I'm gonna have to do some research on that now. I mean, I've already bought it, so I'm gonna play it. But yeah, um, I don't really know what it's about. I'm back for Blood, but they—they're all like. I suppose we could put Back for Blood on, because that's like a game that I can like keep going back to. It's not like. A story campaign, you know what I mean? There probably is a campaign, but it's... You, are looking at the only absolute zero cooling system you know what I mean. Destroy each of the four coolant generators. Once they are no longer functional, my primary systems should begin to melt down. Okay. Yeah, but Back for Blood, it, you know, it's kind of like playing Call of Duty Zombies or Risk of Rain 2 or... Return or you know what I mean? It's one of them games what you just every now and then you fire up and play for like two or three hours. You don't really play it for like to beat the campaign all the way through. You know what I mean? Big is it? What's the size? Forty gigs. Minimum. Uh, I bet. It, I bet it's bigger than that. I bet there's an update for it straight away. Grab all the. Another BFG shot down there. Guess as soon as we touch that. As soon as we touch that core or how it's gonna break loose, so let me get accustomed to where some of the stuff is. BFG shot down the bottom. Where does this blast me to do? Oh shit. Are we got I just shoot this. Yes.
I hate the way they come at you, them things. Because even when you jump, a lot of the times it still catches you. They're probably the mo I think they're probably the most annoying enemy in the game. Them, the ones that charge with the tails. Like even, yeah, like I said, even when you jump, a lot of the times it will still catch us. Super annoying. Super annoying. Again, we could BFG shot as a BFG down here. Let's shoot that um, top one foot. As a BFG up here as well. Warning: Core temperature rising. Trying to shoot my bloody my rocket launcher for ages and it wouldn't shoot because I was using the mod button. You have to be locked on before it lets you shoot. But I kind of screwed myself there. But shoot, shoot, shoot. If I'd have just, if I'd have not held the mod button, it would have been alright. But never mind. That I do, that I do. Let's get to the the um top one first. I need to get rid of the rocket launcher. Wrong, wrong one. Fuck. You see what I mean about the... The weapon select. Ah, oh, wrong. Bloody annoying. Two BFG shots in this room as well. When I don't know when we should use it. I hate them. I hate them, man. They're so fucking annoying. Even the look of them annoys me. Annoying things, man. Just running at you and headbutting you. Like I said, you can't really even jump over them at the time. We well, can, but. Fuck, it's so annoying. Ah, uh, you're all getting BFG'd. You're all getting it. The 
bit of a waste doing it though on them. It's all like little, it's all like little um, enemies. We want some big dudes if we're gonna waste do a BFG shot. Like that. See the way it Changes bloody still two BFG shots. Oh, my God. We need to use chainsaw, that's what we need to do. Need one of them to come down so I can chainsaw it. It's, they're all they're all up high. I can't get them. Fucking annoying son of a bitch. How do I get over there? How do I get over to them? They're not all dead. What the fuck? They're all dead, aren't they? Is there any... It comes to destroy them. This map's confusing the layout of it. Ah, there is another one. Thank you. You can now move to where my core is located to complete this process. Annoying layout. Very annoying layout, this little part. Bit. 
What the fuck do we have to do now then? Ah, oh, come on. It's like up there. Like above us. Oh wait, then we can get up through that. See what I mean though, it's like really awkward to navigate. The train below will take you to the entrance. Access to my core, the demonic threat must be removed from the room ahead. That was definitely a BFG moment. See, why has it changed? Ah, uh, the, the... The guns... The way the guns swap is so annoying, man. I don't know if I'm like the only one which found it annoying. I mean, I could, maybe I could be. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean other people don't. But yeah, I don't know why. Some, something just annoys me about the way it works in this game. Doesn't mean I don't like the game. You know, how many games are perfect? Hate them. Just so fucking annoying, them little things with the tails. God. There's me moaning about the way the weapon selection works, moaning about the enemies. For you to gain access to my core, the demonic threat must be removed from the room ahead. I stand by what I'm saying now. They would have done a cycle system without the weapon wheel. Well, like I said, I'd add the option to have it on or off. They never BFG, so we might as well. See the way I just changed my guns again, automatically.
stupid dumbass thing. Stupid dummy head. We could have popped off more BFGs than we did. But it's all good. We, we, we got through it, we still got three, so no harm done. Gives your armor, we're already maxed out. Is this the last boss? Looks like it. If that's a boss. I don't know if that's a boss or not actually. spend them even if we're not using it let's do this because this is more likely to be or is it bullet still get five kills in five seconds while using five kills in five seconds that's not even that bad if you got loads of little dudes. Yeah, the siege mode is it's obviously it'd be good once you've unlocked the mastery and you can move but I don't think we've got enough time to be doing an, uh, any more unlocking any more masteries. Not gonna happen. Oh, we can get another dexterity. Not that it's gonna help.
We could have started another another part. Fuck it. Like I said, just we might as well just keep M1 now. By destroying Vega, you've created a portal directly into the heart of Hal. Now you must find your way to the source of UAC's power, known as the WoW. The Crucible will allow you to absorb and contain energy of the WoW. Wait then, I am going to restart another part. So I hope you enjoyed this one, people. And I'll see you in the, the next one. And that will be the last part, I should imagine. Then.